your food like you invited me over for this lunch or a date how come you're asking me to pay for my food hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rachel and i am from lagos nigeria in today's video i'll be talking about some cultural shock that i have gotten or the cultural shock that i have witnessed I have witnessed a lot of um, cultural shocks, like culture shock, if that's how you want to call it, culture shock or cultural shock. I have a list of the things that I have witnessed or that have happened to me or happened to some of my friends and I would like to share those with you today. The first one will be paying for your meal or bill on a date. You get to a restaurant and that friend or that person expecting you to pay for your meal. Why? You invited me remember why are you not paying why am i going to pay eh first of all you need to be carrying vex money you know so you have to always have like a little change with you in case this kind of emergencies um happen nobody have ever invited me over for a lunch and expects me or have expected me to pay for that meal i don't know if it has happened to you guys or if it's something you are used to you know but for me i was a bit taken aback i was surprised because um first of all you invited me for this meal so how come you're asking me to pay for it also for a birthday party oh i'm having a birthday party in the restaurant um can you come so i went and i went for that party and the next thing is uh people started to pay for themselves for the meal if you invite me over for lunch i, I just assume that you are taking up the bill you are paying you want my company that's why you're inviting me over for lunch if you invite someone over for lunch then you're paying for the meal you're paying for the drink unless you tell the person from that oh i want you to have lunch with me but you're going to pay for your meal and then the person can decide to say okay i'll be there or i will not be there because i don't have the money driving and road signs coming from a place where we have sketchy road signs ah and i got here and i started seeing different road signs you know so first of all i learned how to drive here in america some of my friends who learned how to drive back in nigeria they really really found it difficult <laughs> they found it difficult to adjust to the road signs the signs on the road while driving and also this is a good one moving to the side of the road when you hear an emergency vehicle coming the first time that happened to me i'm like ah let's all be going the road is free but i saw other cars moving to the side of the road i just gently stood where i was because i could not understand why the cars were moving and i remember making a post on my uh facebook page asking that uh, do you move aside for an emergency vehicle or what do you do? I read that you are supposed to move uh, to the side of the road for emergency vehicles. I've never witnessed it. You know, I've, I have never been driving and an emergency vehicle um, comes along and then we have to move. But that day I was just driving and I started hearing the sirens and I saw cars moving to the side of the road, either the left and all that. But because I didn't know what was happening, I just used my common sense of course I stood um, in the middle of the road I didn't move and the, the vehicle just passed me because at the time that I realized that I was supposed to move it wasn't even safe for me to move so I just stayed where I was and that was a big shock to me like coming from Nigeria nobody moves for you you have to find your way through the traffic calling lecturers by their name not even lecturers like people older than you you call them by their first name yes it shocked you i remember when um a small boy about seven or eight the first day he saw me he's like hi rachel i smiled and i said hi how are you doing but i was like did this boy just call me by my name no auntie no nothing like really in africa everybody's your auntie so you're always saying auntie rachel auntie grace 
uh, even if it's your you are from the same parents or not you're always saying auntie auntie and auntie just as a sign of respect right now i know better because i have a three-year-old that calls me by my name rachel my name is at the tip of her tongue rachel there's no auntie in the matter so like nobody's going to call you uh, uncle lagbaja or auntie lagbaja in this america unless it's it's kids of your friends that probably you you know them back from nigeria before you relocated or something those are the ones that i want to call put small respect in your name auntie rachel or uncle lagbaja or auntie lagbaja but the ones that are born here, the Oibo, the Americans, they are going to be spelling your name out, calling it out like uh, Rachel. Yes. And you have to deal with it. You answer, you even answer with a smile. Small children calling you by your name. Yeah, that's the same thing as what I just said. And even you addressing your lecturer, there's no, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You will be sign, 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 dear. Sir, sir, sir. Nobody's going to answer you because the sir will not know that you are talking to him. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Mm -mm. If his name is Robert, you say, Robert, I have a question. Robert, you address them by their first name. Paulina is Paulina. Robert is Robert. Mark is Mark. Matthew is Matthew. Rachel is Rachel. Joy is Joy. Cindy is Cindy. Nelly is Nelly. Your name is your name. There's no romancing your name or whatever but i think you can also call some lecturers by their title if they ask you to call them by their titles other than that on a first name basis my people then no spice in their food how are we supposed to no no we how am i supposed to cope with that no spice it's like plain everything plain 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 Ah, anyway, shock me, oh, but we move every man to his own. <laughs> yes, every man to his own. Of course, they see you through their windows. Yes, they see you. Yes, they peep a lot. They see you, but you are on your own. Ah, uh, there's no, can you borrow me? Can you blend me? Can you give me salt and pepper? Mm -mm. You don't just go to somebody's house unless you are invited. You don't just go to somebody's house without informing them that you are coming. Back in Nigeria, I have a friend. I'll just cross the street or the road over to her house and visit her. Even without calling her, sometimes I might get there and she will not be home. I'll just go back. I don't, no offense, none taken. Over here, if you don't call somebody, nobody's going to open their doors for you. You have to inform the person that you're coming. Uh, I'll be coming over to your place. Will you be around at this time or not? And they tell you, oh, I'll be around though. Oh, I'll not be around. Because if you get there on your own, chances are they might have gone out. There's nobody at home. Huh? You'll be stranded. So every man to their own and every malam. So in Ketu, people smile at you randomly like this. They just smile at you for nothing. Yeah, I know it's like, it's courtesy to smile when you see someone. But uh, in Nigeria, you cannot just be smiling at anybody. Who say, ah, what happened? Are you okay? Why are you smiling at me like that? But over here, people just smile at you. Like, uh, make you feel welcome. Make you feel okay. Make you feel comfortable. Yeah, they just smile. Maybe they see you in the store, they smile at you, they see you on the road, they smile at you. Some people will not some people might not smile at you, but some would smile at you. You can return items. Yes. All those Instagram vendors that say no return, no refund. No, that's not true. Over here, you can return items. Yes. Even if you buy the cloth, you have taken picture with it, you have then get posed with it, you can take it back to the store. Yes, I said what I said and I'm telling you. Even if you buy food, mm -hmm, and they did not put the things in it, you can return it. Yes, 
if you buy watermelon or i remember one time i bought yam from a store which i'm not going to call the name of the store but i bought yam from a store and when i came home i put knife to cut that yam, like and it was black wow woo. i'm like no why is this yam black i bought three yams the second one black the third one black <clears throat> i just put it back in the bag and took it back to the store and guess what i was giving my money back no questions asked yes because of course i couldn't eat the yam i don't know i don't know what was going on why the yam was black so i had to take it back i and just I saw the drink somebody advertised it on instagram and i'm like okay i can try this mm -hmm. and i went to the store i bought it i got home and i started to go through the ingredients and i saw alcohol and i don't take alcohol i'm like oh this has alcohol in it guess what i took it back to the store and they gave me back my money yes so stop all this you cannot bring it back and you have taken it home and no at first it was a shock for me but although some people take it to the extreme like you cannot buy chips open it taste it and say you don't want it back and you're taking it back to the store that's to the extreme you cannot buy um some certain things and take it back to the store of course that's too extreme but they take back items mm -hmm. they'll take it back and give you back your money or exchange yes so all those instagram vendors remove that no refund or no no returns from your from your dm if i'm ordering something from you i expect to receive what i ordered don't do me the more you look the less i see okay okay what you pay for is what you get yes if you pay three dollars for a piece of cloth you will get a three dollar piece of cloth you will not pay three dollars and expect to get a cloth worth seventy dollars no mm -mm. that will not happen thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it if you do please remember to click the like button and subscribe Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.